Please tell me we're not live, Dave. Every week we go live too early. We've got an advert running. Okay. I think what happens is, uh, Max, you get in position. Uh, Dave, you sit down and get ready. Your camera too. Uh, it's a bit of reverb coming back there. Not sure about that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna. Uh, do you want me to talk on the? Uh, am I better on talking? Yeah. Do you think I'm not better talking on Max's because of the? I look better. Oh, see, I think we'll talk to Max. Yeah. I'll ask you. They're not. Uh, are you ready to switch then? Is that? Go on then. I think they can hear us, you know. I think they can. I think they can hear the bullshit we've been talking, Dave. Every week. I can never get it right. Are we Are we really live? Like I said, it's a waste of time the first minute anyway. You only get Francis Matthews and a few idiots tuning in quick. So d don't worry about it, Ben. This, is, this, this will just be edited out. Nobody will ever see it. Nobody. I need the green light. Am I live? Oh, shit, we are. Okay. We need to get that right, Dave. I think we need to practice maybe next Friday and get that right. Okay, welcome to a Wednesday in the Glam Zoo HQ. And as you know, every Wednesday we have the DJ winners poll for Tidy 25. I'm Amadeus, one half of the Tidy Boys. And I usually introduce a young man or a young lady. This time, I think he's, uh, I think I can call him young. Uh, yeah, uh, he, he's, uh, he's come a long way considering I th uh, about an hour and a half let me introduce you first his name's ben venard here he is even an ammo even everybody i like his accent straight away now ben i'm going to ask you the usual questions where you're from how old are you how long you've been djing so get ready yeah. um ben <laughs> how long you've been djing it'll be 21 years boxing day this year 21 years. He doesn't look old enough, does he? But I know, I've, I've done a bit of research, he's 39 in October. That's correct, yeah. Halloween is my birthday. Halloween and Brexit Day is his birthday. <laughs> what a day that's going to be. Fantastic day that's going to be. So, Ben, you've been DJing a long while, so did you start straight in clubs, mobile? What were you doing? I uh, started out bedroom DJ and yeah, DJing. My friends got a set of decks for Christmas one year, started doing that, spent about five years just doing um, local gigs and then progressed into doing clubs and moving on that way. Um, recently just started in the production side of things. Um, I cut tracks out at the moment right now. It's currently at number one in Toolbox. Uh, so, yeah. It's uh, showing off already. I like it. I like it. I like a man that's going to show. I've just got to get that prepared. Um, so he's been around. He's uh, obviously established himself. He's a producer. Uh, he lives up north, more north than we do. Um, so you're in the studio, I believe, this weekend in, in Leeds. I am, yeah. Me and my mate uh, Nick Haywood are in with Dave. Uh, we're going to take a little twist on an old untidy track. So let's see what happens with that. Have you got permission? Have you asked me? Have you wrote me a letter? Well, I'm sure you have. Oh, uh, Dave will sort it out. Yeah, he'll sweet talk me later. So I look forward to that. So uh, are you a bit nervous being here next to me? Oh, definitely. Have we ever met before? Uh, funny enough, we have. I actually DJed. I've DJed after you twice. Uh, once in Middlesbrough about ten years ago, and there was about ten people in the club at a club called N Club NRG. I is it was it in like in the middle of a car park? It was, yes, it <laughs> Yeah, I, do you know, it's summer was dodgy there. We went up on a Thursday night. There was nobody there, and we got paid five grand. <laughs> uh, I think somebody was just offloading cash. Yeah, I think so, yeah. The promoter was terrible. But yeah, there was, well, there was no, nobody knew we were on. There, no, I think even we didn't know we were on until the day before. Uh, but, yeah, what an easy way to make £5,000. Played to ten people in Middlesbrough. Um, what was the other time? Um, a, a night at the Beaver Works on a Wednesday night, Hard House Beaver, one that Ian Russell's. You were there, Dave, yeah. And I played straight after you again, so yeah, twice. Well done. Because it's very difficult to follow us because we are very good. <laughs> and uh, we're a difficult, difficult, uh, people get scared to follow us and Lab 4. But um, there's no problem. We followed Lab 4. It's easy. You just wind it down and just let everybody breathe. So tonight, obviously, um, we've got about an hour, roughly, of some uh, beautiful music that you've uh, prepared, thought about. Um, yeah, I'm recording, Dave. Okay. <laughs> All day. We, just to let you know, we've got no Lee Green tonight, who's normally the audio-visual man. He's at home probably having a baby. 
Uh, well, his partner is. Apparently, he's sitting in a big swimming pool waiting for it to splosh out. So, uh, all the best, Lee, if you're watching. That'll be fun. Well, the fun starts once it's out. Um, I've still got one living with me. He's 26. <laughs> Can't get rid of him. <laughs> so you think it's all over when they leave school? No. The fun begins. Uh, so I'm just waffling now, but I like to do that just to get everybody excited. We've got people watching. Uh, that's good. Ben's ready for action, I think. Um, it looks like you've got this set up yourself, haven't you? I do, yeah, um, exactly the same setup. So I've had plenty of time to, to make sure everything's into place. We had a bit of a, uh, a mess up, by the way. Eggman's set that was uh, played out last week live was recorded on USB. The USB was corrupt, so today we're using a better USB. We're actually using one of the Keep It Tidy ones that we got spare. So that's uh, 64 gig of loveliness. And if you want that, you can go to glamzoo.com and get yourself one. So that should be fine tonight. should be recorded. Uh, I've got a fan over there because I know you're wearing a jumper indoors and uh, it can get hot in the room. <laughs> it can get hot in the room. Ben, I'm looking forward to this. I had a, a little uh, sneak peek of your first track and can I tell you, it's one of my favourites. So you're already winning friends. Um, if anything goes wrong, by the way, don't forget it's my fault, not Ben's. Anything technically goes wrong tonight. Let's play Dave tonight, I think. Dave's, uh, if anything goes wrong, we'll get Dave with a written warning. There he is. <laughs> He's had about 20 written warnings. I've had 50. <laughs> uh, so you're ready. Everything's ready. I'm going to turn myself down because I do love the sound of my own voice. And uh, I think you've got the benefit of loud monitors tonight. Ooh. Everybody else had these small ones. You've got uh, loud monitors. What are you pointing at, Max? Yeah, I, okay. Thank you very much. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. We don't need Lee Green. Right. Let's stop the waffling. Let's put hands together, uh, if we can, and show some appreciation for Ben Vernard. Thank you.
Vogue, LAX. You wake up at O'Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth, BWI, Pacific, Mountain, Central. Lose an hour, gain an hour. Check in for that flight doesn't begin for another two hours, sir. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. You wake up at Air Harbor International. If you wake up at a different time, in a different place, could you wake up as a different person?
that the day would never come I'd see the light and the shade of the morning sun My morning sun is the drug that brings me near To the childhood I lost replaced by fear I used to think that the day would never come That my life would depend on the morning sun
Beautiful. Thank you very much. And I rarely use that word beautiful, but it was flawless and beautiful. You can put that on your Thank you very much. You can put that on your C V. What do you think? Oh that was the best hour of my life. It really was. <laughs> it was the best hour of our life as well. <laughs> Honestly, unbelievable. A lot of love out there uh, for uh, for everything you played and everything everything you did. So uh, you've got to be pleased with that because you were a little bit nervous, as everybody is before you come on. Definitely, but after that first track, as soon as I got my loops and everything sorted, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. See, he's, he's 39, and that is a good age for a DJ. Anybody younger watching, you've got a little way to go. Uh, we were talking before we went on camera that uh, Tony DeV reached his peak around 40, 41. I used to be good around 40, 41. <laughs> um, but no, a lot of DJs, you know, they start in their 20s and uh, their teens, but literally experience, and that was an experience set. I don't think, uh, every week we get different people in, then, and I just think, uh, I, what, what I'm trying to say is, I'm expecting the worst, you know, people coming in and getting nervous, but every week so far has been a brilliant set. And I, if I could just put all those mixes together, put it on an album or go to a club, I'd be happy. Brilliant. Uh, like I said, it was one of the best experiences that I've had in... 21 years of DJing. Wow. And that's been recorded, as I can see, thank God. And that's going to end up on Spotify in about 10 days because we put all these mixes, they're live on Facebook, they're recorded, then they're mastered, and then they're put on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, and you can listen again and again and stream to your heart's content. And that's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, you're looking forward to getting that on Spotify and playing it back? Oh yeah, Definitely. You'll be a bit critical, lady. Oh, I could have come in a bit early, but I, we were all dancing and jigging around here. It was, fl it was flawless. Um, and like I said, it's very difficult playing on a carpet in front of a, an office full of people and cameramen yep. rather than playing in front of a crowd. Where are you playing next? Let's give a few plugs. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Um, in fact, I'm booked to play at One Big Bash in January. That is my next gig at the moment. And a clap there from Dave. I don't know whether he's playing as well or he's got, f or he's got investment into that gig. <laughs> but he seems quite pleased. So that's in Leeds, is it? Uh, yeah, the Beaverworks, I believe. Uh, Beaverworks. The dirty Beaverworks, as we call it. Muck it. Yeah, muck it. It's very much. If you go in the Beaverworks and you rub your, you rub your, catch your wrist on something, go for a tetanus. <laughs> Go for a tetanus. No, that was brilliant. Honestly, Ben, I'm not going to blow smoke any more up your ass because it'll come out your mouth. <laughs> but um, you, you just tick that box. Well done. So every Wednesday, I don't even know who's on. I like it that I don't know who's on next week. Maybe Somebody, Gaz F. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, Gaz F is on next week. Every week, right up until about January the 3rd, we've got an exciting, attractive talent in our office. And I love it. We've got, we've not had a female yet. But we have got females lined up, and uh, if I said to Lee Green, I said, if we have no females in this poll, you're dressing up as a woman. I think that's a good idea, definitely. Nice floor woman. Again, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lee's not with us. Like I said, he's having a baby somewhere up north there, up the street, somewhere in a... Uh, is it called like a... What's it called when you have a... A birthing pool, not a swimming pool. Yeah, I think you get... If you have a baby in a swimming pool, you do get arrested. I think you have to have it... In a proper so um, I'm going to give a few plugs before we go tonight. Um, don't forget uh, a week of Saturday we're going here. I don't know if you can see that on camera 15. There it is, the Opera House where that's going to be sold out. Lisa Lashes, Tidy Boys, Lisa Finnup, Signum, Rom Sierra, Kimes, John Hemming, and that will be in Bournemouth. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. There's a few tickets left. Go to glamzoo.com, and then on October the 26th, uh, just before breakfast. Brexit, we're going to go down to Colville, one of our favourite clubs of all time, and we're going to have a bit of a Halloween special with the Tidy Boys celebrating 20 years together, and that will be a six-hour set if you can bear it. So thank you once again. Thank you to Ben for coming all this way. Your name, by the way, Ben, Vin is it French? Uh, Spanish, I think it originates from. Spanish. So how would you say it in a Spanish-y sort of... Venard. Yeah. Ben Venard. Remember that. It's a not... 
I've been saying it all day and I like it. It's so got a good ring to it. You haven't got to change your name or you don't have to call yourself Ben V. It, it actually works. Very good. So once again, show your appreciation for Ben Bernard. Thank you. And we'll see you next week. Good night. You've got to press stop streaming, I think, Dave. Or we're going to have that awkward, you know, the awkward beginning.